Welcome to module five, which is on the benefits of your product or services, which is really important. We're going to go deeper. You've been looking at your avatar and you've been defining your mission statement. You're getting a little clearer on really what is uh, the niches of your product or services or what are the benefits. So this is where we get even clearer because when it all boils down, what someone is going to do is buy your product or buy your services when there's something in it for them. They're not going to buy it out of pity. They're going to buy it out of when you say something that triggers in their head, oh, that's what I need. That will help me with my problem. When you go through this process of defining what you can offer someone else and what differentiates you, you can raise your prices because you are now a premium product or you offer a premium service. So going through this process is going to help you differentiate between other products. It's going to make you clearer on what you offer so that you can tell your potential customers and clients why you are different and why it will be easier for them to make the decision to choose you. And unless you know, how can you communicate that? So for instance, let's say forensic healing, I'll say, okay, well, we're women's only, so that'll appear to some women. Some women say, well, I feel safer. I will say we have a good apple policy because we're dealing with energy, so we'd like to keep it nice and safe. So good apple means positive energy and they're the rules of that class. The other thing is I'll say, well, forensic healing isn't just about healing yourself or healing others. It's about understanding universal laws so you can actually change your life. You can use it in day to day. So what I do is I rattle off all the things that will benefit somebody and how it differentiates between, say, another modality. And the other thing I also say is that when you come to forensic healing, this is about healing you first before you heal someone else. So that might appeal to someone to say, yeah, well, yeah, I'd like to get healed. And so we focus on healing ourselves during that week so that we transform. So what that's what I uh, put out on my blogs and my website about I've written, in fact, I've written a whole blog on what is forensic healing about and I go through all the details. So when someone reads that, they go, wow, this is in depth and detailed. So that is what you can do uh, after you've written out and gone through this exercise. So another area I talked about is authenticity or sincerity. So the more transparent you can become, the more people uh, feel that you're sincere and that you're not hiding anything and that you're real. That's why when you get your face out there, when you get uh, people seeing you working with others, or the more you're out there, the more people align with you and the more they uh, get used to you and then they feel they can trust you. This is uh, why it's important to keep on working on promoting yourself and this is the foundation of how to do it. So people's experiences and reviews are really important. People want to know what other people think of you. Now, the most powerful reviews are a friend's review or a family's review of you. That's the most powerful and most influential is when someone else knows somebody personally and then they talk about you. That's more powerful than an actual video or a written review. However, having written reviews and having video footage of someone talking about you or anything that's out there about you that's positive is really valuable. So when you want to get reviews from your customers, ask them for a video review or a written review. I know video reviews are a little harder, but you could put a competition out there or you could offer a discount if someone supplies a video review for you. And because they just seem more credible because you can see the person talking and then you get a feel from it. It's a lot, it has more effect. There are some questions that you can provide for your reviews if someone's going to do a video review or if someone's going to do a written review. I've just written some down. You can make your own up, but it says state your name. What do you do? What was your problem? What they tried to solve it. So when someone just gets up there and says, listen, I I tried so much. I went to the doctors. I tried these medications. It's been going on for 30 years. And then I tried this. Then it just completely disappeared. It's amazing. My whole life has changed. Then that's very powerful. So if you ask those questions, 
people uh, will answer them and it has a more profound effect because sometimes people will fail to say, well, it's been there for 30 years or, you know, I, I've tried everything and nothing worked. So when you get those, uh, get them to answer those questions and provide that information, very powerful. So up to exercise five, and that's where you identify your specialties and niche in your product and services. So the first one is, is sort of like saying, uh, it says, what experiences or challenges have you or your product overcome? So this is like a personal thing or a journey. You might say, well, myself personally, as a therapist, I couldn't get rid of the pain and I couldn't get rid of uh, the way I felt and how, you know, I felt depressed and I couldn't, I, I've had to overcome that myself. So that, what that does is when I say, well, I've had to overcome that, then now it tells that person, well, she had what I have, so I'm able to overcome it. Or a product, you might say, well, I created the product because I wasn't able to overcome this issue with, uh, you know, eczema or whatever it is the issue is, and so I created this product. So it tells somebody um, the challenges that, brought you led you there we've already kind of covered that initially but we're just again getting a lot more uh, niche here we're writing it down over here so what makes you unique so you're going to have to think about all the things that you differentiate between other products or even just say what you do the very fact that you start to say um, what you specialize in what you niche in all the problems you address already some a lot of people don't identify that stuff but put down what makes you unique why what do you you know get clearer it also will probably get you to introduce new things into your services or product what do you do best so identify those things that you do best for instance i might say well uh, as a therapist we empower people to you know we empower people so that they know how life works they are able to heal themselves we remove the feelings that you know remove the negativity of their past in them so that they can then feel whole you know, th that's what I, we do best work out what you do best what are common issues have your customers overcome so think about what your customers keep talking to you about you know, what they say is, what do they say? So then you can add that in. You go, well, our customers, everyone loves a story. Everyone loves to hear what you've done for others. Write it down. And anything else that you would like to add. So that's the actual exercise. Again, I, we may be touching over some stuff that you've thought about or have gone over before. But here we go deeper because this is the blueprint. This is you know, setting you up for success. This is so important to for your message, okay? And like you only need one customer to branch out. You have got to have one customer that knows a whole heap of people, one customer that is in this big, in this group that just goes tell everybody, this customer that's connected to someone that's in media, who knows? You never know, but you just uh, go out there and uh, be confident in who you are and strive to be the best. All right, I'll see you in module six.